This is my $1.5,000 aircraft carrier. It's very long and narrow, which makes it kind of unstable on the roll axis, especially in big waves. Even in smaller waves, it has a tendency to bob back and forth a bit, so I decided it would be fun to try and stabilize it with science. This is a big aluminum reaction wheel that I glued to the deck. The reaction wheel is directly coupled to a big brushless motor, which is controlled by the new O-Drive Micro. It has a Hall Effect encoder on the back, which can measure the motor's exact position and speed. This way, it can precisely control the acceleration of the flywheel. And when paired with an Arduino and a gyro, it can actually stabilize the roll axis of the boat. If the gyro senses that the boat is rolling to the right, it will spin the flywheel to the right, which will create a torque on the ship rolling it to the left. And this will in turn cancel out the original movement. Oh yeah, I can totally feel some roll damping going on. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> Okay, so I've just doubled the proportional gain. Yeah, yeah, it feels really locked in now. It's not oscillating or anything. I might take it up even higher. So now let's see how well this works out on the water. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the reaction wheel turned on and off while I disturb the roll axis. You can clearly see the reaction wheel makes a huge difference in damping the ongoing roll motion after the initial disturbance. That's crazy. It works so well. We got some high seas out here today. This is gonna be crazy. We're gonna test the reaction wheel first. We'll do a before and after with and without the reaction wheel. It's so mellow. It's like super stable. Roll is definitely more stable than pitch, which is saying something. We need bigger waves. <laughs> <laughs> this aircraft carrier is so stable. You could land any plane on that thing. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison while the ship is going through big waves. Once again, the difference is pretty clear. The reaction wheel damps out the vast majority of the unwanted roll movements, but what it doesn't do is compensate for long-term roll offset. It would be possible to implement an inverted pendulum controller, which would always try to return the ship to level, but for now, it's just running a simple roll rate controller. As long as you don't care too much about long-term offset, the simple roll rate controller works okay, and this is just because the ship's center of gravity is still below its center of buoyancy, so it has some natural stability. The reaction wheel is just fighting against any short-term movements. Here's some shots with the reaction wheel turned off for comparison. Whoa, those are big waves. Roll is still pretty stable, huh. but it's definitely moving a lot more. This boat is still passively stable, otherwise it would just capsize. I think we actually did gain some passive stability by mounting the reaction wheel on the ship, even when it's powered off. This might not make sense at first, because after all, the reaction wheel is just a bunch of weight above the center of gravity. But in order to keep the ship from capsizing, I also had to add more ballast to the bottom of the hull. So now we just have more inertia in general. And as long as our center of gravity stays in the same place, that extra inertia is only helping the ship resist short-term disturbances. <laughs> There's no way I can land on this thing in these waves. This helicopter will go into the drink and it's not waterproofed. It's got GPS position hold even. I'm going to try it. It's actually working really well. It stays in one spot. Will it capsize? No, it won't, because we have a reaction wheel, bitch. Wow, it really is so stable. In order for this flywheel to be able to stabilize the ship, the Arduino needs to be able to control it super precisely, and that's where the O-Drive Micro comes in. It's a high-precision brushless motor controller that can be used in all sorts of robotics applications. I think it'll even be useful for RC rock crawlers and stuff like that. Check it out on Crowd Supply if you're interested. Big thanks to Oscar from Odrive for helping me with the electronics for this project. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> and this thing costs like 500 bucks. So I'm glad it didn't go in the water. No, but I'm also bummed I didn't land on the aircraft carrier. I bet if it were calm, I could do it.